Morning! Hello, it's Sunday. Um, Andy's in, I think. Yeah, yeah, his car's here. Um, we're going to do some feeding of the cattle. Bits and bobs like that. And um, yeah, take it a little bit easy today. Easy Sunday. My dad's going round on the TM 320S. And Andy's here, look, on... Yeah, be loading bales up and putting them out. And my first job is to open the gates for them. Morning, Andy. Morning. How's things? Okay, yeah. Yeah? Did you go for a walk yesterday? No. Uh, I thought you might have gone to some, some random place for a little walk. No. Oh, big Mick's back today at some point. Yeah, yeah. Off his holes. Off his holiday to Tenerife. This gate catch is getting bad. Like, I think it needs a new nail in it to sort it out. I'll show you what I mean. The nail's got like caught into the spring. Mm. Anyway, get out of Andy's way before I get covered in straw. Easy, you look. What teeth you've got? You've got baby teeth, haven't you? To be honest though, it's been like that for years. And uh, what do you do? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, it still works. It just don't, looks a bit unsightly with a nail through it. Right, Andy's got a uh, rubber bail in. Let's get cracking. Everything's fine, everything's fine. It was, it was close, but everything was fine. Literally in the nick of time, Andy. I think if I, if I had to add it in selfie mode, looking back, I wouldn't have seen. <laughs> so the reason that we bed these guys up every day is because Little often seems to use the least amount of straw. We've got plenty of straw, as you can see, because we do a lot of muck for straw swaps. Um, but it's to keep these guys happy and healthy. Because as soon as they're unhappy and they're living in dirty conditions and things like that, they will stop performing, they'll stop putting weight on. One of the first things that um, they will do when they come under stress is stop eating. And we need you to eat, don't we, guys? So you guys pay the bills, so we need to keep you happy. Dad's just putting the feed in now. This guy here's still got his horns, which is not good, especially when he does things like that. And he's a little bit friendly because he will get a bit giddy. And this one's got horns, but only little. Whereas this one's got proper things. Really, anger should be pulled, so it shouldn't have any horns, but there are uh, exceptions to that rule. Um, and they should be um, disbudded if they do have horns. So, like when the calves, you can put a little uh, like gas thing. There's plenty of videos on YouTube, I think, about it. Um, and it takes out the bud from which the um, horn grows from. Because he'll bully some of these guys in here with your, with your horns, won't you? Okay, because they are. Yeah. He knows, he'll know he's gone. 
will know he's got them. Uh, that's what I like to see. A lot of them laid down. A few of them up eating. We'll fetch you some more feed in a minute, guys. Hello, pretty. Oh, come and see me now. Brilliant. Yes, hello. Hello. They are clean, these overalls, though, mate. Please don't. <laughs> right, I'm going to jump on the 9 meter and we'll go and get some straw around. Uh, what I'll do, though, I'll check, first of all, that these guys down here don't need a hit. Because they're normally pretty hungry. Uh, yeah, they do. They need one. So we'll sort that out first. So I just boom out. With the long reach of this JCB. Believe it or not, it's nine meter. Well, actually it's nine and a half, but um, we call it nine meter. Just easier. Anything that's easy to say, someone from over our way will make it easy and shorten it. Going to the shop, got to take the the dirt out of it. I'm gonna shorten everything down. Right, so I'll turn this off. We'll get in. Uh, we'll get in there and unwrap it. So as I'm trying to unwrap it, this one keeps trying to bash it. Come on, stop it. Stop it. Come on, naughty. Get on. So the one eating the hay in the middle there. Wasn't feeling too well the other day, so I gave him an injection, but he's eating now, which is great. And everybody else seems fairly happy. You're eating my overalls, aren't you? Um, yeah, back to being happy with this pen now. So you're going to a car show today? I don't know. Or you want to? I'd like to. <laughs> if, you're, if, you're good lady, if you're a good lady, he'll join you. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that at then, Andy? Right. Where's that at? Um, Santa Pod. Santa Pod, where's that? Sounds. Uh, down, down, not nearly as far as Peterborough. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Likes putting miles on that car, I tell you that. Really? Devon, Peterborough, who knows where next? Right, we are just going to get some cattle out because there's some going later today. Just need to make sure we've got the right numbers. He's a good bullet though, isn't he? Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, pretties. Come on. Hey, Come on. Come on. That's it, in there. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. There we go. So, I've only just realised, but clocks have changed today in UK. Um, gone forward. I did wonder why I'd felt a bit more tired this morning, but you want to say anything? And then everyone's like, yeah, clocks have changed. Now that like we have iPhones and stuff and the clock automatically changes, it's not really that much of an issue, is it? You just, you set your alarm and it works the, the change out. But um, yeah, pre that, pre that happening, um, it would have bothered me, but no, it doesn't really. It just is what it is. It happens, and part of living in the UK is that the clocks change. So this wagon used to be nice and clean, and then my dad's let his dog in it. Been in with his sweets. Ah, oh, it's soon uh, turned into a bit of a muck hole, hasn't it? Lovely. So I've got the daft parked up because we've got some cattle to take in this afternoon. These guys in here will be going. This afternoon, what am I on about? This morning. This morning. The clocks again. Thinking about the clocks too much. Oh! Nearly. Very nearly. So my dad's going to get off with those now. I'll um, set some bales of straw out ready for Monday morning. Now, if you remember over the summer, I think it was Great Eccleston tractor pulling that I went to. And um, Ben, my brother, came back and did some stacking in the shed and then literally two weeks later or something like that, the, uh, the bales fell out of the shed. 
Oh, look at this. We've got to some of his stacking here. It's like the leaning straw tower of Barnsley. Um, the only thing that's holding them in are the stairs, because luckily that bay has some stairs in it, and they're holding those bales in. Uh, the ones that he stacked behind them, the bay doesn't have any stairs in it, and they all fell out. Surprise, surprise. Right, I've decided to put the trailer on because I'm sick of the inefficiencies of fetching straw three at a time all the way from there and taking them right over the other side of the farm. Um, so we're going to take the trailer down there and we'll fill it with straw and just, uh, yeah, make things a bit more efficient. But I need to get this wood off first. So it's, it's moderately dangerous fetching these down, to be honest, but they've got to come down. So I have to put, fetch them down, put them down, then pick them back up so that we can even begin to stack them on the trailer. Again, if you concentrate on this bar here, all the way to the top, you see we've got a bit of an issue. So we'll have to release. It's hard to see with all these bars there. Anyway, she'll go back straight, go back in, pick it up and it should be fairly level now putting on the trailer. That's the trailer empty, and Alika, Kazam, she's full! I've now got the trailer hooked onto the JCB, and we're taking it very steady, taking it down the yard. Getting around this corner that's a little bit tight. Just hoping that with the four wheel steer, we'll be able to um, get it done a bit better. But no guarantees. Ah, I think we should do, yeah. Yeah, this is probably going to go around easier than I expected, actually. Just I don't like driving trailers. Jackknifing them around corners like this when they've got high loads on. But she's coming round nice. Don't think we've lost any bales. Which is good. Not what we want. Yeah, she's coming round there nice. Miss that wave bridge. We have plenty to spare. Just how I like it. William. There we go, it's all dropped off. Right, we'll unload it now. Shall I go and get the flat eight grab to unload it like Tom P? I'd see that with the, all his video yesterday. Come on, Tom, get a spike. He must have one somewhere lying about, surely. Although I suppose they don't do much round bale silage, if any. I don't think they do. And probably don't mess about with much straw either, so I can see why they wouldn't have one. Right, let's get these off. It's time for the mixer power. Molasses is going in. Molasses is stopped. Oh, a bit more. That should about do it. So I've just come to look at the wheat, see if we can get my fertilizer on. I think we might end up making a mess. Oh, and up there, look, we've got motorbikes flying across. Our neighbour's land. It's where the uh, where the car was set on fire yesterday. We've got motorbikes flying around. William. I think, though, to be honest. 
the wind wasn't as bad, I'd be out here um, putting some fur on. Because they had the odd puddle, but this all seems pretty solid that I'm still on here. Um, yeah, hmm. So I've just had my roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, um, and all the trimmings and all that. Lovely, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And now it's time to come out and feed the cows. They're, um, their afternoon dinner as well. I've just got to do something with the mixer. You guessed it, it's mixer mention time. Happy birthday to Anita Houston, Alessi Whitaker, that's all from your dad, and also Farmer Fran, who's been part of um, the Yorkshire and Cultural Society Forum thing with me. So, um, yeah, happy birthday to all these guys and anybody else whose birthday is today. We've raised £4,372 so far, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, if you want to do the, get involved and get in it, get on it, whatever, you know what I mean, write your name on there, then links in the description below. Losing myself a little bit here, but let's go and feed some cows. Yeah, TM and feed bucket time. Oh, I've just done what I hate, so I jump on, climb up the steps, into the cab, then I look outside, and the pipes aren't on. Get back out of cab. Climb down steps. Put pipes on. Climb back in cab. The amount of times I do that a week is too many. Too many. These guys here are all waiting for their feed. Because they're fairly new to the farm. Also, I might just have to give these some hay in a little bit we'll just feed them out a little bit there we go and they'll all be on eating which is what we like to see which is good so i had a little chat to big mick earlier over whatsapp video i think it was and i thought right i know what we'll do i'll screen record it and then uh, you can listen back to it but um it doesn't record the audio which makes it pretty pointless but anyway that's him talking at the side of me now um, and you can't hear what he's saying so uh, yeah that's how it is <laughs> we'll probably see him definitely next Saturday but um, if not he might pop in and see us in the week because I know a lot of people have been missing him I know they have but he's had a great time over there uh, it's been really nice weather and um, yeah he's back later today business so I've just come down here to feed these guys. They're all ready and ready, ready and waiting. Sound like Jonathan Ross and ready and waiting. Um, are you? Hey? Yes. Lovely. So these beautiful things to feed. A bit of hay out, and then I'm done for a Sunday. I'll go home and see Becky and the kids. Um, so yeah, if you have liked today's video, please remember to press the like button and subscribe if you're not already. Um, I'm still absolutely loving making these YouTube videos. It's the, the hobby that I never knew that I ever wanted or... Um, yeah, I, I never thought I'd be into like filming myself on the farm. But I really enjoy it and I enjoy the positive comments and um, the positive emails that I've been receiving from people who are saying they're getting like inspired by watching um, people like um, myself, Charlotte, Ollie, Tom um, into taking a career in farming, which yeah, just, uh, yeah, it means a lot, it means a lot. So anyway, before I get all in mush, I'm going. We'll see you tomorrow. Andy will be back. Business, bye. So that's these guys. Um, Pretty much all fed, a little bit of hay to put out. Just waiting for my mum and my dad to open the gates for me so I can just finish the last few pens and then I'll be back home to, to Becky and the kids. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been putting uh, positive comments. Um, and yeah, it just, I just, I, I, I never knew that I wanted to, to do this filming of the farm. Like, it really wasn't my thing to pick up a camera and start filming stuff. And um, I just love it. I just wanted to. Yeah, I just want to say how much people give me enjoyment in doing this and then for other people to actually like watching it as well is just, yeah, amazing. Thank you, basically. Thanks, everyone. Um, so, yeah, as I end all my videos, if you like this one, remember to press the like button. Um, subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much, guys. Like I said, I really, really appreciate it. See you. Bye.